Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Yoi Eats. I'm Yoi, and today we're at the original TikTok famous restaurant, the TikTok Diner. Now, New Jersey is actually the diner capital of the whole world. There's more diners here per capita than anywhere else on earth. The reason for this is that New Jersey is between places like Philadelphia, DC, and New York City. So when people are traveling through New Jersey, they're gonna wanna stop and eat. And that's why diners have popped up everywhere in New Jersey. Now, I grew up in South Jersey, so I grew up going to diners. I've always lived pretty far from TikTok Diner, but I've always wanted to try it because people say it's the best of all the diners. This place has been around since 1948, and even though diners are really just cheap, casual food, it's really saying something if they've been around for that long, especially considering it's right by the highway and not exactly in a really convenient location to get to. Anyways, let's go check it out. Okay guys, so we're inside the TikTok Diner. This is one of the most iconic, not only iconic diners in New Jersey, but one of the most iconic restaurants in New Jersey. And I've been to a lot of diners. I grew up in New Jersey, but I grew up in South Jersey, so pretty far from here. Uh, but I've always wanted to try this place just because uh, this place is pretty famous. Let's look at the menu real quick. So I hear that this place went through a really big uh, revamp, not just on the interior, but also their menu. Uh, there's a lot of items here that I'm sure probably were not around like 50, 60 years ago, like general Tso's crispy cauliflower and that doesn't really sound 40s diner like but yeah I mean from what I've heard pretty much most things on this menu are gonna be pretty good pancakes are always a star at diners breakfast is usually a star as well and actually $6.95 for two eggs with home fries and a piece of toast that's actually a pretty reasonable price an extensive breakfast menu as well lots of different items old and new and then of course just a ton of other American foods a ton of sandwiches the original Cheesecake Factories, which just sold lots of different varieties of food and just whatever you wanted to eat. I'm sure these lunch and dinner foods are great as well. However, it's our first time here, so you know, breakfast really is usually the star when it comes to diners, so let's go with a breakfast dish called the Mick Jagger. Now the server recommended this to me the most. I think they came up with this dish when Mick Jagger actually ate here before performing around here, and I think this is what he ordered or something like that, so uh, apparently Apparently this is a really really popular item so let's get this. And we also had a pancake dish recommended called the Grand Slam. I'm not really sure what it's gonna be so let's wait and find out. What's cool about this place though is that everything is like stainless steel and reflective and even the coffee cups are kind of like that so... Let's try their coffee, served in a stainless steel cup. I feel like I'm like a cowboy or like a pioneer or like a World War II soldier or something, drinking out of a tin cup. Hmm. Oh, nice. You know me, I'm always honest with you guys. Uh, if the coffee is average or tastes instant, I'm always gonna be honest with you guys. But no, this this is really solid coffee. It's really well balanced. It's got a nice sweetness to it. It's not too bitter. Honestly, at diners, coffee can really be hit or miss. Sometimes the coffee can really, really be weak or sometimes even too strong. Hey, this is solid. Anyways, let's sip this while we wait for our food to get here. Now, this is the Mick Jagger, and uh, you know, basically this is a pork roll sandwich, or no, actually, I think up here people call it Taylor Ham, but where I grew up, we call it pork roll. And pork roll is basically a processed meat that's eaten in New Jersey. Uh, you can kind of think of it as like, it's almost sort of like bologna, but it's more salty and less soft. Uh, but yeah, it's like a processed pork meat, and it also looks like it comes with egg and cheese. And this is something I definitely wanted to get here. These are dis Disco fries, and apparently they've been serving this for a really long time here at TikTok Diner. So this is mozzarella cheese and gravy slathered on top of fries, and you know, I can't wait to eat this. I've never had poutine before, but I guess this is almost like a New Jersey version of poutine, so I can't wait for this. And then this is our Grand Slam. It looks like it's pancakes with a fried egg, bacon, sausage, and to be honest, unlike some other places we've been to, these prices are incredibly reasonable especially for the portion you get. Enough talk. Let's eat. Oh. Oh. Oh, those are awesome. This time we grabbed the bunch at once. 
Mm. Oh. So the fries are definitely just pre-frozen fries, uh, and you really shouldn't expect anything more from a diner. But the star of this really is this cheese. This is just such good quality mozzarella cheese. It's not like they just diced a bunch of cheese sticks or something. This mozzarella cheese is just excellent. And honestly, the Canadians are onto something with poutine. I mean, I love cheese fries as much as anyone, but the gravy just really, really pairs well with the mild cheese. You get some savory flavor from the gravy, you get some crunchy, starchy fries, and then you get some nice, mild, stretchy cheese. It's just awesome. Mmm. Oh. Wow, those disco fries alone are already so good. I don't think I've ever had anything like that in any diner I've been to in my whole life. I definitely can see why I put this place on the map. All right, next, let's go with our pork roll, AKA Taylor ham sandwich. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. Mmm, oh, that, that, is, that is just awesome. Mmm. Honestly, I was never always the biggest fan of pork roll, aka Taylor ham. Uh, you know, growing up, I always felt like it was just, eh, you know, just a cliche processed meat. But I gotta say, guys, this pork roll is excellent. It's got like a nice sweetness to it. It's not just salty, not just soft. It almost kind of tastes like Canadian bacon. That is some of the best pork roll slash Taylor ham I've ever had. And to complement it perfectly, the egg, as you can see, is super fresh, perfectly cooked, really, really, really well-made eggs. Guys, I gotta say, so far this, this food is, is really excellent. They named this dish after Mick Jagger, and you would think that's almost like a corny tourist thing to do. This dish, it really makes Mick Jagger proud. And I'm glad I got what Mick Jagger ordered that one time. I got that food like Jagger. I got that food like Jagger. I got that food like Jagger. Okay, enough singing. We don't want to embarrass ourselves here. The Mick Jagger, excellent. Can't recommend more. But we got to move on to the second dish that we got, our Grand Slam Pancake. Okay, these pancakes already look really fluffy, so let's try the pancake first. Hmm. Okay, a little bit more syrup. Hmm. So the pancakes are good. They're really fluffy. They've got a nice sort of buttermilk taste to them. To be honest though, maybe it's because I ate these two dishes in the wrong order. The Mick Jagger dish was just so good. The best pork roll I've ever had. The disco fries, incredible. So maybe this is just suffering from comparison to the Mick Jagger dish. The pancakes are good, but I wouldn't say they're the best pancakes I've had. They're above average. They're very, very fluffy and very, very buttermilky in flavor, but they're a little bit on the crumbly side and they are a little bit dry. And I know if you add maple syrup, you can kind of offset that. But at the end of the day, this is a diner and no matter how good, no diner is gonna be using Vermont or Canadian maple syrup. So the maple syrup is just in these pre-packaged packages, but the pancakes are definitely good. Hmm, just not great. But based on my experience eating the Mick Jagger, I got a feeling that everything else on this Grand Slam is gonna be a hit. There's no way we're leaving any of this bacon on the plate untouched. Hmm, oh yeah. That bacon is perfectly cooked and they give you huge, generous strips of it. And let me tell you, it also tastes good because I drizzled the maple syrup on it earlier when I was drizzling it on the pancake. Bacon and maple syrup, let me tell you guys, that is just an amazing combination. Mmm, mmm. It's sweet, syrupy, sticky, and then paired with that salty, porky bacon, ah, it's like a match made in heaven. And let's try the sausage. Okay, the sausage is average, to be honest. It almost kind of resembles one of those McDonald's sausages or even a hot dog, but it's okay. You know, nothing out of the realm of expectations. Lastly, let's try the egg. Hmm. 
They do eggs really well here. A nice runny yolk, real fresh eggs. Because the eggs are done so well, that's what made the Mick Jagger sandwich so good. Overall guys, the Pancake Grand Slam was a solid dish. I've always wanted to come here to TikTok Diner just because it's such an iconic and famous diner. But to be honest, I wasn't expecting necessarily too much. I mean, growing up for me, diners were kind of just casual, cheap food, and uh, a part of me was thinking, you know, how good could it really be? I gotta say, overall the food, excellent. Especially the Mick Jagger. I really, really enjoyed that. Great breakfast sandwich and great fries. For me personally, TikTok Diner was excellent. It was not overhyped for me at all. I really, really enjoyed it, and I found the prices really reasonable. Anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed coming with me on this journey as we ate at one of the most iconic restaurants in all of New Jersey. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. Until next time, I'll see you later.